found a good copy here. How to install print driver. Now, got a new user, you need to install the driver on a new user. How do you go about doing that? So basically now, open up your internet browser, go to Google, and pretty much just search for Kanaka drivers. The first link will pretty much send you to a page like this. If for some reason you don't get this search box, just on the left side right here, look for printers and drivers. It's going to send you to this web page. Now, for me, the best way to search is you scroll down. You know, look for this option right here. If you have a color machine or black and white, so the one I'm looking for for myself is actually a color product. And scroll down here and look for your particular model. Right now, I have a BizHub C754. Now, keep in mind, you'll find that model number in, on the front of the copier. So, once you have that, what is it that you need? I need a driver. Do not use the universal driver it doesn't give you all the full the full features so just click on the driver option you want to do the first one click on that and here it is and any driver that you need you'll find it right here so basically if you're installing Windows 7 Windows XP you'll find the drivers here now uh, not to confuse you if you are installing on a server 2003 server 2008 server just go ahead and ins install the appropriate driver but keep in mind that driver will be also backwards compatible for Windows 7. If you're installing a 2008 server, uh, select the correct driver and that driver will be backwards compatible. So you can share it out and Windows 7, Windows XP, it's able to print from the server. Now, I have a Windows 7, Windows XP machine. It is 32 bits. So here's my Windows uh, 2000 Windows XP. This is the driver that I need. Everything else is uh, the appropriate driver. So, but this is what I need. I click on Windows 2000 Windows XP, and then I want to go right at the bottom here. I want to go ahead and click on Show. There it is. So it's going to give me all the drivers that I need. So basically, it says Windows 2000 Windows XP driver. Because I am in the Windows XP environment, pretty much the first driver on top is the newest driver. Uh, it's, this one right here says mono, basically means it's just the black and white driver. It's restricted to printing color. If you want to restrict color printing, this is an excellent option to give the users only to use this driver. If you need all the features for the color printing, select the second option that does not have that. Put it on the desktop and put it in a folder. Once you make the folder big, go to the folder and find out which one that is the folder. Right at the top, click on the folder type. Zipper, right click on the zipper, and then click on the folder. There it is. Then create another folder. Okay, click on that folder. You have it installed. Wait for a minute. Click on this file over here. Open up the folder. Say yes, you agree. So pretty much you want to install the print drivers. First option, that's what you want. Click on next. Now it's going to go ahead and search your network to find out where is that particular print driver. So here it is. Finds it and it finds it also with the IP address. So check the box. 
now we want to go ahead and click on next now right here is going to ask you what is what which print drivers do you want to install uh, I suggest if you are installing a color machine I would prefer to go with the postcard driver I do not want the PCL and depending on your environment too maybe you cannot use postscript use the PCL but the postscript will do pretty much everything if you are printing a lot of Adobe files CS files you need, you need the postscript driver also if your machine has a fax driver I would suggest click on the fax option and make sure it installs it too if your machine does not have a fax option do not install it so right now I just need the Kanaka postscript driver I'm going to go next install it we're going to go ahead and have the driver install installing the print driver installing it there you go and it gave me an option and named the machine this is what I want no problems and I'm going to go ahead and finish I do not want to do a test page here because there's a couple of things I need to do to the driver and then click on finish so again, the setup that exe tool it will give you a widget. The driver installs it. Click on Kanaka. Click on Adobe So you're not constantly clicking a color, you're only clicking a color. So the first step is click on the configure tab. Make sure we're connecting with the computer and then click on configure tab. Next step is click on advanced tab. Printer default, click on advanced tab. That means it's printing for your driver. Click OK. Click on printer default. First step is on my tab make sure the two-sided here the print type just set that to one-sided you don't want to constantly print everything duplex so it's best to leave it on one-sided apply those settings next step is now to default the driver to black and white click on the quality tab there you go make sure this is set to grace grayscale grayscale for the Conica driver means black and white printing Make sure you apply those settings and pretty much that's it you have the driver installed you're ready to go you can also check your ports configure the port now make sure this box is checked this basically will communicate with the copier and have the correct settings just click OK and now you can go now to the general tab that folder download it set find the save to bit folder and that's it folks I will come back and click that folder you can see that it has options for the folder click on 